Uh, hey guys, Master Tech Joshy here. I got a 2015 Chevy Colorado. I can't show you the side of the car because it's got a customer's name, like their business name on it. I don't want to show that. But so I got a 2015 Colorado. It's got the four banger direct injected. <laughs> and uh, the customer complained about uh, no brake assist. You know, pedal got real hard and it was hard for them to stop. They're able to stop. Uh, I noticed the check engine light was on, so I pulled the codes. It had a cat deficiency code. It's got uh, a couple thermostat codes, but I also noticed it had a couple camshaft timing, position, uh, and also like cam crank correlation with the exhaust. So I just noted those codes. Um, I looked into the brake assist and uh, I pulled the vacuum hose here at the booster and I had no vacuum supply. They've got a vacuum pump here on the back side driven off the exhaust cam and uh, I'm like you know it's gonna need a vacuum pump it was also just gushing oil out of the side of the pump I'm like it's gonna need a pump and I'm gonna have to inspect it because of those codes that I noted once I got the pump off I found that the teeth they go into the exhaust cam are all chewed off they're broken off i found i was able to pluck two of the pieces out with the magnet but then other parts of the vacuum pump right here where the oil would seal against their aluminum i couldn't fish them out with the magnet so i had to pull the valve cover off and of course inspect some more just to get the metal out and so i pulled the valve cover and i noticed that the exhaust cam sensor right there, exhaust side, side cam position sensor is damaged. It's, uh, it's this guy here. Shoot. It's damaged right here. And you can also see that this cam is actually damaged here on the teeth slightly. And then also, well, you can see that's where how the, the cam, you know, that vacuum pump grooves into there. That is damaged quite a bit as well. So we're going to replace, hopefully, if the customer okays it, we're going to replace this exhaust cam, whole bunch of seals, replace the val, uh, the vacuum pump. And we'll send it. And I didn't really see any information in Identifix or on the web about this problem, so I figured I'd make a little video. If, if you're, you know, newer GMC or Chevy four banger here with that vacuum pump driven, I think what happened was the pump locked and the cam still had enough torque just to keep spinning and it broke the lobes. Since that happened, the, it, the car has an extended crank. The customer said it died on them a couple times. They actually drove it for maybe 100 miles with no no assist, which I wouldn't recommend. I would, you know, the car will stop, but you have to st stab that pedal hard. So just a little interesting thing I found on this here uh, direct injection. I think it's 2.5. This might apply to other Chevys and GMCs and GMs uh, with the direct injected 2.5, naturally aspirated. But I don't know exactly, but just something interesting I found. Be safe out there.